U.S. guided gallbladder drainage in a non-distended gallbladder. 86-year-old female with CBD stones and cholangitis underwent ER CP and duct clearance and a stent placement. Lab colliers advised, but given high risk for surgery, family opted for a non-surgical intervention. On EUS, the gallbladder appeared non-distended, was not amenable for us guided gallbladder drainage. It appeared filled with sludge and stones, but was non-distended. So therefore, we switched to the EU, uh, ERCP scope and the previously placed plastic stent from the bile duct was removed. A balloon catheter was advanced in the bile duct. Selective cannulation of the cystic duct was attempted and eventually accomplished, but the wire could not be advanced in the gallbladder to place a stent. So therefore, balloon occlusion was performed and the gallbladder was distended with normal saline and contrast. Following this, the e on EUS views, the gallbladder appeared distended. A 19 gauge needle was then advanced into the gallbladder, followed by coiling of a 0.025 inch guide wire. Next, a six French cystotome was then advanced across the duodenal wall to create a fistula tract between the duodenum and the gallbladder. And then, a lumen opposing metal stent, a spaxis by tie wound, was gradually advanced across the duodenal wall into the gallbladder. Under fluoroscopy and EUS views, the flange, the internal flange inside the gallbladder was deployed. And gradually, the external flange was then deployed in the duodenal lumen. Following placement of the lamps, you see there's bile and sludge and debris coming out. A plastic stent was placed inside the lamps. On follow-up, the lamps was removed and there was no residual stones and sludge in the gallbladder and was replaced with a plastic stent. Thank you.